Hi, welcome back. My name is Srikant. In the previous session, I've gone through CDSV Association topic in detail. In today's session, I'm going to talk about a limitation of having CDSV Associations. To explain this limitation, I'm going to take a scenario of transitive join. So what is a transitive join? Let's take a look at this picture here. It's a finance model series view. So I've got a doc A, which is universal ledger table. And I also have a master data table for company code. And I also have a, another master data table for country data information. In order to establish a joint relation between act doc A and company code and also to the country, I'll be performing a couple of joins. They are, the first join is going to be from uh, act doc A to company code table. And with the information what I retrieve from company code table, I'm going to make another join to country to get the country description column. Basically, there is no direct relation between act doc A table to country table. So I'm establishing the relationship between uh, the universal ledger to company code and then company code to country. So that a relation is established from country to universal ledger table as well. So this is called a transitive join. In order to achieve this scenario of transitive join, using associations in serious views, there is a limitation. So in this session, we're going to understand that limitation and then we will uh, overcome the limitation using joins. I also prepared a blog on this topic. So you can go through this blog to get the um, brief information about this topic. In this blog, I also given the example code here. So if you take a look at this code here, I am uh, trying to establish an association uh, from act doc a table to company code table. That's going to be my first association. And there's going to be another association uh, from act doc a to country uh, table. And this time the joint relation is going to be based on the columns which are retrieved from the first association. So you can see that in the projection, it is a land one that is a column um, retrieved from the association one, which is company code. And I wanted to expose the um, country description column uh, in the same view I'm defining. So in this example, I can see that I'm displaying uh, some of the columns from my primary data source, which is ArcDoc A, and also some of the columns from the first association target and a column from the second association target, which is country. So you can see the country uh, dot land X is the country description column. And I'm trying to establish a common data set between these three tables together. When I try to activate this code in a system, I'm going to get this error saying that the association country cannot be used in local in this same view. So the reason for this error is the you know, we are trying to use the projection columns uh, of the association one uh, to be used as association two join condition. Um, the underlying join condition is getting corrupted. So that is the reason it is system is not going to allow you to use the, um, the column from the second association as in the path expression of that particular series view. So how could you overcome this problem? You got two options. One is either you can create another CDS view on top of it and then uh, call that uh, country description field as a path exp expression in this new CDS view, or you can use joins. Um, the open SQL joins can effectively um, get the results as you need it. So I have explained this scenario with error description and also the code required for this in this block. You can go through this for, for your reference. So let's do this um, exercise um, in the system. So I'm going to open my uh, about on HANA system. I've got a package here. I'm going to create a new CDS view. going to choose other repository objects and just going to say 
call data services. I'll pick up data definition and then choose next. I'm going to name this as um, association limitation. Okay, you can give the description the same thing. I'm going to say next and then say finish. Okay, in order to speed up the process, uh, I can actually uh, grab the code from my blog or even from my uh, notepad file, which I have already saved. So I'm going to do that now. Um, going to go into my CDS code and just grab this one and then paste it in the CDS editor here. I'm going to just leave the names as they are, it's okay, fine. Uh, for a moment I'm going to comment this, um, this particular path expression uh, to explain um, the problem. So here uh, um, I'm defining a CDS view and then it is select from add doc here. And this is going to be my primary data source. And I'm setting up an association with a zero to one cardinality to T001, that's a company code table. And the join condition I'm applying here is the company code to company code and also the client to mandate. And then there's going to be another association um, established uh, as a target to T005T. This is a text table for country description and here the join condition is not from uh, at doc as a primary data source it is from the uh, columns of um, target association one so uh, LAN one is the column which is retrieved from company code association so in order to do that I can actually do um, association dot LAN one or I can use dollar projection keyword because I already have the uh, these two LAN1 and MANDT columns um, uh, are provided as path expressions in this area's view. So that's how the second association is established and then I'm going to uh, um, activate it. Uh, this is all good. I can actually uh, see that it um, it's activated. I also can um, display the data in it. Let's choose data dip preview, open with data preview, and got the data here. So what is that I wanted to do here to recreate the scenario or to show the limitation of CDS view association? In the case of um, uh, having a path expression for a column from second association, so for example, um, country description, let's take, do that, I'm going to uncomment this line. Now you can see that I have exposed a column as a path expression in this same CDS view, which is country description, land X. You can see that there's an error coming here. So the error says um, association country cannot be used locally in the view because the, um, the reason for this error is uh, the join condition going to make with the projection columns of the current CDS view is going to be an invalid join. So with that, we cannot proceed further. So if we wanted to um, get the data output of uh, some of the columns from the three tables together, I cannot do that with the associations. So what are the uh, alternatives for this issue? Uh, we can actually create a new CDS view on top of it. So you can comment this one and activate it. And then in the next uh, CDS view, I can use the uh, country description column as a path expression and then uh, we should be able to get the data output for all the three tables together. The other option I mentioned uh, for this issue is using uh, open SQL joins. Open a SQL joins to get the output what we needed um, in this example. I'm going to say new data definition. I uh, can say limitation. I'll just put the joins, association to joins, and then just next. 
I'm going to say next and finish it. So go, similarly, I'm going to grab the code from uh, from the notepad file. It's a very simple code, so I don't have to type in again. I can just grab it and I can explain this in the CDS editor. So I'm creating another uh, CDS view to achieve the same requirement. So in this case, my primary data source is still going to be at talk here. And instead of having an association, I have a left outer join to T001 table. The join condition is going to be the same as before. And there's going to be another join created uh, as a target to T005 T table, which is a country text information. And then the join condition is established between uh, T01 and T005 T tables. Now, if I'm going to use um, a column or uh, display the column in the select list, the land X column, the country description column, in this series view, it is going to say, okay, and we can activate it without any issues. So the series view is now bringing uh, all three tables together um, with the use of uh, transitive joins. So I'm going to display the data in it. I'm going to display the data in it. Open with data preview. Now I can see the country description coming up correctly uh, for all the um, records in our doc here table. I think that's it. Uh, so we have uh, seen a limitation of uh, having an association for transitive joint scenario. And then we can overcome this um, issue using um, open SQL joins as we just seen in the previous example. That's all for this session. Thanks for watching. Uh, for detailed training on S4 embedded analytics, reach out to me at um, surampalias at gmail.com. Thank you. Bye for now.